Welcome to today's session. So we continue looking at the 2022 GCE Mathematics Paper 2. So question 5 leads, answer the O of this question on a sheet of plain paper. So this is a question on construction and this question is always there. And the patterns of the way questions are asked is almost identical, if not uh, repetitive. So question A leads, Roman numeral 1, construct triangle KLM in which KL equals 11 centimeter, angle LKM 70 degrees, and angle KLM 50 degrees. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go on, start with a point. So this point, we have a point at K. This is a dot, this one. Then we get our ruler, our standard ruler, then measure from K to L, which is 11 centimeters up to L here, this point. Then once we do that, we have this 11 centimeter, the first side of the triangle. Then the second side at LKM, which is 70 degrees at K, we measure using a protractor. Once we measure, we bring this protractor and put it at this point and ensure that we measure it is at 70 degrees. So we we'll put it like that, then we measure this angle. So if you do collectively, what you discover is, and you put collectively, this angle should be around somewhere 70 degrees. So this 70 degrees, this angle, once we measure it properly, then we have a dot somewhere there. A dot, then we join with a ruler to have this line called KM. And this line should be extended enough, you've seen here we've extended it beyond, so that once we draw the other side where this angle is 50 degrees and 60, 70 degrees, then this angle is 50 degrees, then we also do the same similar way We're using a protractor then we extend this line such that it protrudes here such that they close once they close here then we form this triangle we are talking about and this is our triangle of interest so you've seen those lines then we have this triangle so this is the triangle we are looking for then the question is asking us uh lemma number two of a measure and write down the length of LM. So we use our ruler. Remember our standard ruler. So we measure 11 centimeter. Okay. Once we measure 11 centimeter properly there. Remember this one we are using for demonstration. It, it is zoomed in. So it's not in the correct dimension. So we measure like this. Then what we discover when we measure we discover that this will give us about uh, 11.92 or approximately 12 centimeter to the whole number. Okay, then this is the, the, the number 2 of A. Then we go to B. B on your diagram within triangle KLM construct the locus of points that are equidistant. So now when you hear the word equal distance, it's telling you equal distance from K and L. From K and L. So for us to achieve that, what we need to do is we need to draw locuses. So these locuses, so the first one we we'll put at, at K using this compass. So if you put this one at this compass, then you extend enough more than half such that such that more than half here, such that when I try to draw a locus like this, you see, it will be big enough. Then when I move it this side at L, then I draw another locus. Okay, I need to draw another locus like this, you see, such this, these two locuses will cross each other. Okay, we've just drawn this locus, they will cross each other. Okay, so you've seen they're almost crossing there at the same point. Then we do the same for the bottom. You discover here is the bottom is we have these two locus that are crossing here. Then we join this line using a ruler. And that line will be a straight line. 
Once we join that line to the straight line, then what we what we have done is we've, what we've done basically is we just drawn the line that is equidistant, the same distance from K and L. So this distance basically in this direction, this distance are the same. That's what it means. Okay, so that's for part one of B. Then part two, this one. So part two. Uh, three centimeter from KL. So three centimeter from KL. So what we, again we need to do is we need to get our our compass and ensure that it's three centimeter exactly. If it's three centimeter, then we come here and we draw this locus. See this locus. Then again we we'll move. To this point again, draw another locus which is three centimeter. But now it should be in the same this it will be in the same three centimeter. Then once you do that, in that case, then you're going to join these lines. So we are going to draw a straight line that is tangent. So that is tangent to these two locuses. So what you are seeing, this is the line of drawn, tangent. So once you do that, what you discover, this distance will be three centimeter, as long as this line is tangent to these two locuses. Okay, so basically, that's how you deal with, with uh, number two of B. Then we go to number three. So number three is saying eight centimeter from K. So a centimeter from K. So again, you bring the compass. So you bring the compass at 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 K like this. Then measure that is eight centimeter. Eight centimeter from this. Then you draw a locus like this. So once you draw that locus, that locus is what uh, B three is asking you to do. So this is what we are seeing here. What we are seeing here. Okay. Then we got to see. So C, so C leads a point X within triangle KLM is three centimeter from KL. Okay, three centimeter from KL. So this is the line which is four centimeter from KL. You've seen that line. Okay, then eight centimeter from K. So this is the locus which is eight centimeter from K. You've seen. Okay, label the point X. So the point X is where these two lines are intersecting. And this is the answer for C. So it's a point of intersection. So this is just a point. So you've seen where X is. Okay, then number D. Another point Y is nearer to L than K. Nearer to L than K, which is in this direction. These are the points that are nearer to K. To L and K, so all the points that are to the left of, to the right of these lines, to the right of B, the line labeled B, Roman numeral one, they are nearer to L than K. Then equal to three centimeter from KL, equal to three centimeter from KL. So you see this line, okay? Greater or equal? So you see above. So what we know is in this region we are talking about. So it's this region we are talking about in this case. Then we are told and less than or equal to eight centimeter from K. Okay, so eight centimeter is this one or less. So you see that lead line. Clearly indicate by shading the region in which Y must lie. So where Y must lie. So if you notice is we are only remaining with this region. You've seen this region? This region. This is where Y must lie. And this region is already labeled as Y. You will notice there, there is a label here called Y. So this is D. So basically, this is how you deal with this kind of equation.